Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Now today, I'm with the legend, the myth. Spatless, spat looking, so yeah, Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, look Jamie Christian, the, AKA the giant. We're back, part and two. Part two, so I went to his gym a couple weeks back. Yes, we former in here, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. You didn't really wear the hat in here, mate. I'm sweating. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we had a, a back session a few weeks ago, which uh, was very eye-opening. It really did open my eyes to some of the sets and reps and tempos and everything we should be doing. So Jamie's come to Stoke, and now we're going to train in chest today. Chesticles. Yes. So again, I'm very open book today. So uh -huh. what's... Uh, What's your plan for the for the chess session? Well, I look around, some wicked equipment here, which is great. You know, always a good start. The uh, prime pet deck is a very nice piece. Okay. So I think we definitely use that. I, I usually like to try and start with a pet deck, just to get the chess connected with the brain. Okay. Um, it's different. And then move into the pressing. Right. Some people would say start with your pressing because yeah. the strength is there, but you've got plenty of that anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll start with a pet deck. I wouldn't say we would go to town on the pet deck and exhaust anything too much. It's just like an activator. Yeah, activating that is going to then lead us into nice press. Okay, pet deck to activate. Yes. Let's get activated. Get me drink. You've got your cranberry juice. <laughs> So this is quite clever with these machines. You can set it so the weights don't hit your back here, but they hit you more here. And you're saying that's good for warm up, because obviously as your muscles are most vulnerable in the open position, yeah. more liable for injury. Yeah. So it is a very, it's a very good machine. Okay. Sixty-eight to one thirteen, so it's like sixteight to nearly one hundred thirteen million. This time, I want you to two second hold at the at the end. Okay. Yeah, nice. You feel it really pulling in. That's it. You usually get that. I usually find with anything once you kind of pre-workout, the blood's in there. It is hard to feel it. Yeah. So something like this starts it's beneficial for that reason as well. Yeah because it just establishes, like I say, that strong connection yes. when you go into that first. But I'm, in, I'm enjoying the ball. Yeah. Have you stopped uh, aching there? You got used to it? I'm getting you? there. Yeah. Training legs last night to the point where I trained them, then to max, and I kept walked over from there, that corner, the leg extension was walking over here, and I was like this. Yeah. Like, I could not control my legs. Quality. Yeah. Right, we'll go there. Stack. I want this to be a working set. A working set? Okay. Yeah, so I want you to go as close to failure as you can. Still have that two second hold. Try to keep it as controlled as possible. Towards the end, if you need to speed up a bit, speed it up. Yeah. This, this feels really weird doing a working sets on flies before you do any pressing. Yeah. <laughs> Strong. Last one, five second hold at the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Wicked. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Nice. Very nice. You all right? Juicy. It's juicy. Nearly as, nearly as juicy as that. I might as well just put my chest on that carton. When I do my off season, I get like a hang gear. Yeah. Call it cheeseburger tip. So like a side, like that side boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. got that now. That'll be really good. Look at that. that uh, Look at that from the side, Jamie. Just means you've got big tits. <laughs> That's what the material that is, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Take a screenshot of that, people. You'll thank me later. Oh, great arts. It's like a pull in a little bit as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Beast in the naked. See, there's all this technical science stuff with this machine. There's like low. Low rep range, which takes you more towards the end, or the middle, or the start. So obviously as you exhaust certain barriers of pressing, you can change it. So if you're getting tired towards the end of your press, move it down, getting tired 
on the start you press, you move it up. Quite clever. <laughs> yeah, there's two more on there. Good. Two, two ways that you'll probably see people training. One is the way I'm doing now, I did last time. <laughs> <laughs> well, one way is like we're doing. Yeah. We're kind of warming up and we're keeping the reps quite high. We're going eight, tens, maybe twelves. Yeah. The other school of thought is what you find a lot of people doing now is kind of they'll do two sets. They'll do a work set and back off as their working sets. Right. And the way they build up to that is very low reps. So they might do on that two or three, just to feel the weight. Right. Because in their head, they're saving all their energy for those two working sets. Right. So they'd look at what we're doing as kind of depleting our energy stores. Yeah. But the way I look at it is it's just another way of accumulating volume. Yeah. So it's still adding to the workout. And if anything, it's going to perhaps enable you to lift a little bit less, but in my eyes, that's going to be a bit safer. Yeah. So it's beneficial. Yeah, I've got a little bit of a peck tear, so yeah. I appreciate that at the minute, yeah. Plus with you, <laughs> he's even got strong farts. Arse tear as well. <laughs> Get out. He, he <laughs> oh. Right, I'm going to stay away from that. Oh. That's a full on beast off season. It feels like I've got a paper cut up my arm. I've got a good hand there now. Oh. <laughs> Matt, you can go first. The, the thing is, with this training style, it'll lend well to you because you're super strong. Yeah. So, being a little bit weaker on your working sets ain't going to make a okay. deal of difference. There we go. Yep. Wow. Have you uh, trained anyone else? Oh, since? No. I was going to say you're. Uh, it's up. You've been concentrating on your tempo a lot. Yeah. It looks really good. Yeah, I'm working hard on it. Yeah. I was going to say it's a strong one. I'm used to submit like yeah. as efficient as possible, move weight from A to B. Yeah. Whereas this, just put as much strain on the muscle as possible. Yeah. It's obscene. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's different. Tee ball, it, you, I can see massive difference on last time. What was that like? Two weeks ago? Yeah. 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 Wicked. <laughs> Slide into position. Good. Oh, So when you hear someone say work set back off, the work set is uh, heavy as you can for a lower number of reps. The idea of the back off is to still go to failure, but you want more reps, so you're going to take a bit of weight off. Right, okay. So your working set will be 8 to 10, and your yeah. back off will be 12 to 15. Okay. So what I'll probably do is, I'll, I'll do mine, which oh, is right, what right. you did here, yeah, yeah. and then for your set, I'll probably take that 10 off the bottom. Got you. And I think that'll make a good difference. Okay. We'll see. Some, some machines, it's like, you know yourself, you probably go seven, eight plate deadlift, and all the way up to there has been quite easy increments, but yeah, then you yeah, put yeah. that nine, four, ten plate on, it's like, it's added 50 kilos a side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think this will be the same way, we take a ten off and it'll be quite a bit. More than a ten should be. Let's go. Come on. Right, here we go. <laughs> 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 it's good to sleep there. Nice, right, let's go. Now we Yeah, good. That looks like a nice machine there, that uh, Nautilus yeah. machine. Kind of like a decline yeah. with the angle. Um, so that'll hit. Never train decline bench on my Bit of lower, lower pack. Yeah. Does that actually yeah. hit lower pack? It does, do yeah. You'll, you'll feel it. You'll feel it like around here. Okay. Um, a lot of people. Because you're generally weaker on the upper chest, will overemphasize and focus on upper chest movements. Yeah, yeah. But then you kind of like neglect that almost. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah, yeah. One more. Easy. Good. What I want you to try and do, 
It's called 10 down to one. 10 to one. 10 to one. So we're going to do 10 reps. Yeah. But the first one, you're going to do 10 second hold. And then you're going to do nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So, so you hold it out for 10. Hold 10. Yeah, then nine, then eight. Nine seconds. Hold it for eight seconds. Yeah. There's a lot of time on attention. So, probably be better with two plates, but. One, two, three. Go, two more. One, two, big speed on that one. Yes. Nice. You get the idea of that, so that's. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. Good for anything. Is it that, is that, it like pulls you apart, this does? Yeah. It's so like just holding your arms there, is it? You're stopping your arms. That's it. Back. Yeah. So imagine just going like this up and down. You've got to kind of imagine kind of going in. Yeah. Even if you're on a bar. Yeah, and that's what this does a little bit. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Oh. Good. One, two, three. One, two. One, one, yeah. one more for the block. Nice. Well, what I want to do now is take a little bit of control away by speeding it up. Ah, okay. you imagine just pumping blood into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got the form there. So now you can almost relax that level of speed mm -hmm. because you, you're connected with it anyway. Yeah. Okay. So the power's kind of like in the back seat. You're still thinking about what you're doing. Yeah. So we can speed up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. We'll just do, start off with 10 and 10. 10, 10. 10, 10 okay. and 10, yeah. And, and we're just, we're pumping away, yeah? Yeah. And obviously, still got that element of control there. Not too fast. But you don't have to be super slow. Nice. Nice, Ellie. Looking good. Ready, yeah? I think I'm a double C and you're probably an E. <laughs> e for Eddie Cup. <laughs> So we're gonna do the 10, 10 second, nine second, eight second, yeah. holding it there. Yep, yeah, and same on there. One, two, three, three, that's one. Yes, nice. Two, one, swap. Yeah, nice. Let's just say what you can do, finish off some things, is it's called an asymmetric hold. So literally hold the stretch. Yeah. Just lets all the blood in. It's going to stimulate the recovery a bit as well, but it's just going to help tear the muscle fibers even more. Right, okay. But we're going to do it today because of your chest, but yeah, yeah, yeah. in future, end your workout. Do you reckon a good, a good weighted stretch after is good for opening it all yeah. up and yeah. helping things grow? Even like with back, you just hang off something. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, it is good, but just do it at the end when you're super yeah. warm. Yeah. So we'll go on triceps. Um, okay. I'll have a quick look. Let's have, any... have a peak check. Peach check. <laughs> you want to do a peach check? Yeah. What's your, what's a good pose? Good one is uh, I'll do that so you get your shoulders in and your abs. Yeah. Yeah. The body build obviously it's side chest. Okay. It's like that's where that's where I've got you, mate. I'm sorry. The thickness. That's where I've got you. Right. So what I'm going to do here? Is get you to hold your hand like that. Yeah. Um. Is that too big. Your, your like you're that. opposite to me, yeah, like that. Yeah. And then you want to close this gap here, squeeze that in. Yeah. And then twist this around. So you've got that width here. Yeah. Because it's all about showing your chest off. Yeah, how's that look? But the width and thickness, yeah, very good. So we'll go side to side. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Right. Peak check. Peak check's in there now. It's looking good. We've got fullness. Yeah. Trepasaurus. <laughs> <laughs> right, now get the blood pressure cuff. <laughs> Let's see what he's reading. <laughs> right. 300 over 90. <laughs> Come on. 
six. Come on. Seven. Come on, two more. Three. Good. Four. Nice. Good. Nice. Oh, that's a big one. Fifteen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. That is a chest and tricep session nailed off. I've got to say, mate, like you've talked, you've talked some good exercises yeah. today. Good. The the time of detention stuff, the 10 second holds. Like last time, you, you, it was the uh, you do a set of 20 seconds rest and then go again. I'm yeah. implementing that into a lot of stuff. Wicked. So I'll implement this the 10 second holds with a lot of stuff yeah. as well. That's what it is for you at the minute. It's all learning, isn't it? It's completely yeah. new. Um, you're giving it a right go, like you do at everything. So. Yeah. Happy days, and uh, up for coming again and showing you some more yeah, stuff. Yeah, well, I'll come to you next time, yeah. and we'll keep coming and praying. Well, it's nearly March, isn't it? So it's going to start warming up as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a bit, bit more bearable coming to your ice gym. You bring gloves next time. Yeah, you should call it the ice gym. <sighs> the ice layer. The ice layer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. No, but that was a wicked session. I can tell from last time you obviously work on that tempo. Yeah. Which is great, and like I say, you can now. Now you've got element of control with the muscle, you can speed things up a bit when it's needed. Yes. I'd still keep the presses relatively slow because you want to use the required weight to stimulate the muscle. Yeah. But there's no point going stupid heavy, then you're going to risk that injury. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like I've already got. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Always riddled with injuries, but I'm hoping it'll come to a point where I'll just balance out. Yeah, yeah. We got that. Well, Jamie, thank you, awesome, man. Mate. Pleasure. Appreciate, Appreciate you much. coming down. Appreciate your time. Cheers, Max. Yeah, well done, Max, as well. Good session. Good job, bro. And uh, don't forget, guys, to check out Jamie Christian on YouTube. Yeah? Yep. Jamie Christian on YouTube, and obviously, aka the giant on Instagram as well. So check him out. But don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you next time. Big love. Take care.